Ms. Woods, you say you had a brief sexual relationship with Mr. Volmar, which resulted in him intentionally impregnating you. You say Mr. Volmar now refuses to take responsibility for his child, and you are here today to prove he is your baby's father. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Volmar, you say Ms. Woods is a manipulative liar who was sleeping with multiple men during the time of conception and is so desperate to be with you that she's decided to pin her child on you. Is that correct? You can't blame her. Yes, Your Honor. So, Ms. Woods, how did you get involved with Mr. Volmar? I was going through some issues with my other kid's father. And Which one? one night I went to the club and wound up running into Mr. Volmar. He actually walked up to me while I was having a drink. And he whispered in my ear and told me that I looked like something that he, you know, he could see himself with. So we exchanged numbers. I wound up leaving the club. He called me the following morning and asked me, can I come over to his house? I told him yes, but I had to wait. I had to make sure that, you know, my baby father was leaving out for work that following morning. So I headed to Mr. Vermore's house. We wound up drinking and smoking. One thing led to another, we wound up having sex. The condom popped, and I told him, like, I'm a fast breeder. Like, I have four other kids. <laughs> so a fast he, breeder? Yes, I'm a fast breeder. Definitely a breeder. fast breeder. I'm, Let's just say fertile. Yes, I'm fertile. I'm sorry. Okay. He told me he, had, he was in a relationship for five years, and um, he, the girl wasn't able to you know, get pregnant. So you admit you had a sexual relationship with Ms. Woods. That's it. And you weren't in a committed relationship. Never. And once she told you she was pregnant, did you immediately think it was your child? No. You didn't? No. What were you thinking, sir? I said, wow, congratulations. Do you agree with her assertion that when no. you all had sex, the condom broke? Condom broke. The condom broke. It was sex. It was fun. Okay. A lot of fun. And, and, okay, and, and the condom broke. Yeah. So, at the point that she tells you she's pregnant, you don't believe you're the biological father, or I mean, do you remember that night when the condom broke? I kind of remember the night that the condom broke. There's a couple of nights the condom broke, and I just said, you know what? If I got it, I already got it. Who needs condoms anymore? So, wait, you're admitting that then you started having unprotected sex with her? Oh, a lot of it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the point is, is that you admit that you could be this child's father. I don't know. You don't know, but you could be. I, I don't know because, you know, I've tried it before. It didn't work. I don't so know. So when you say you tried it before and it didn't work, what do you mean? I tried well. to get three different women pregnant. And when I stop trying, she gets pregnant. I don't know. It don't add up to me. Okay. And so, Ms. Woods, when you told him you were pregnant, what was his response? He automatically told me that he wasn't a father because I was staying with a man at the time. You lived with him. You just can't visit me. It does not matter. I was at your house every day, so how I had time to have sex with you and have sex with him? You well, uh, wait a night. minute now, Miss Woods. In the bed with him. I mean, of course you're gonna have sex. Miss Woods, man. if you were living with him, you were still in a relationship with him, right? Right. I was in a relationship but you with my having... other kids' father, but I was not having sex with him within that month. I conceived. So when you found out you were pregnant. I automatically knew he was the father because I was not dealing with him. You lived with him. How can you not be dealing with him? He was driving his car. You wanted this baby. At the end of the day, you wanted a baby. You kept saying how I make beautiful kids. You wanted a baby. I was I did not sex. want a, I That's did not want a child because sex. I had four other kids. I did not want no child with him. I was talking in the heat of the moment. Like, come on, man, really? So, Ms. Woods, you saying you were in a relationship with your other child's father. Right. You were having sex with Mr. Volmar. No, you can just call me side you piece. You told I'm side him. Piece. Well, basically, that's what you were. Exactly. I, and, and I, I was I was the same. I was the same to him. I told her, like, I'm the side piece. I'm a good side piece. So, so wait a minute. You, were have, you had Mr. Volmar She'll on the side. She'll be on the phone with her boyfriend. I'll be laying in the bed, rubbing on her booty <laughs> while she's talking to him. Okay, I was a good side dude. I didn't say anything. Yeah, no problems. Come over whenever you want. We had fun. Oh, Lord. <laughs> so, Miss Woods, did yeah. you ever tell your ex that he could be Madison's father? When I found out I was pregnant, I have no choice but to tell him that he might be the father because I was staying with him at the time. So I'm stuck having a baby. Are you? 
Yeah, I had the baby. By who? By you. Are you sure? I'm positive. You told I'm hundred percent sure. I don't even know his name. You look told at that boyfriend. baby. That baby looks just like you. She don't look nothing like me. She that baby don't have exactly anything like for you. me but my toes. That baby look exactly she like has him. Your head. His eyes, his nose, his she facial structure. Feet. That baby look just like him. You I'm make tired. the same faces. I remember. <laughs> That's you. Mr. Vomar, let's 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 try to take this seriously, really, because. Yeah, because this is why I cannot deal with him and this is why I didn't want no baby for him because the type of attitude he have, how he's set up. Like, he, ju he just ignorant and I cannot deal with but him. But no, no, no but Miss Woods, you were dealing with him. Yeah, That's why we're a, here. Because I was going through something with my other she kids. She likes father. the ignorance, Your Honor. I was going through something with my other kids. Father. At the time, he you made me see feel good like. about myself. She upgraded when she dealt with me. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. You have a boyfriend, so why would you mess things up by going to be with Mr. Volmar repeatedly? It was, just, it was just so much going on with my other kids, father. Like the fussing and fighting, like I got tired of that. So let's go cheat on him. Pretty much. Good job. Good job. You sleep with Mr. Volmar, another guy. No, we had sex. There was no sleeping. Oh. Sex. No sleeping. Let, let's just be respectful in court. He just, he ruled. He ruined my relationship at the end of the no, day. No, you ruined your no, relationship. No, no. You ruined it. I you don't ruined think, it. I don't think he ruined it. I, I think, Miss Woods, you have to own the fact that you ruined it. I own it. I own that story. You ruined it. I you had a it. relationship. It seems like. I mean, you've probably been going through some problems. Right, I And have. That's, that's what couples do. I mean, there's that old saying that, you know, the way that you get over one person is to get under another person. Right. And that's, and that's not what, true. And that's what happens. But she that's not wrong. true, right. as you can see. Right. That's some bad advice. Right, because now there's a child involved. Exactly. Are you still in a relationship with the other guy? No, and the fact is, like, he's hurt over the situation, but at the end of the day, I can't blame him. You ultimately had to tell him that it could potentially be... Right, right. She told him that after she, like... I didn't even know she told him that he might be the dad. So this is something I just learned today. Thank you. I didn't actually Wait. tell him, Your Honor. I told my mother and my she mother told She came to me them, and told always him. told me, you are the dad, 100% sure, 1,000% sure. Because I sure. was dealing with just you within no, that time period I could see. you were dealing with me, him. What about the other guy I saw you in the club with? That was just a friend. That don't got nothing. I, I that was, was just a and friend. And that's what you keep on saying. You keep on bringing it to that I other guy, but you friend. know you the father. I don't know. Then when I had my baby, I'm in labor. Where my did you have your baby at? Me, out there in Lafayette. She ran. She left Georgia, ran to Louisiana, had a baby. Didn't call me till after the baby was born. Then she comes back to Georgia like, I have your daughter here. Your Honor, I called him when I was in labor giving birth to my child. You he called me eight me minutes off of later. His phone. Eight he months. blocked me off of his phone. What you want me to do? I found out she was pregnant. Within two to three months, she was gone. I was dealing with so much with my other kids' father. That's why I wound up leaving and going to a whole nother state. I didn't want to move to New Orleans because it's, it, they had so much going on down there. So the closest place is Louisiana, Lafayette, Louisiana. That's where I moved with my kids. That's just as bad. Just as bad. So when she comes back, the baby's born. Right. Baby's born. She came back, the baby was literally three and a half months old when she came and first time I seen the baby. Ever. And said, this is your baby. Yep. And I looked at her with the same look I'm giving you right, right now, like, what? And so, Ms. Woods, when you arrived and you told Mr. Volmar he's your child's father... Yeah. Wh what was his reaction? He said he wanted to get a blood test. When I got down here, he finally came to meet his child for the first time. I don't know if that's my child. Your Honor, I'm that speaking right now. Child. Okay. Might be his kid. We riding around or whatever. He wound up bringing the kid back. I'm like, what you done that for? What you brought the kid back for? Oh, I know it's my child. So which is it? Either she your child or she not your child? Like, he just... I can't Did deal with him. Did you take the DNA testing kit back to he brought the store, it back. Mr. Volmar? I wish I could have took her back to the store. She's the worst thing that happened to me. I promise you. I got so many headaches. This is like...
Why didn't you take the DNA test? Because he cheap, he don't want to pay for nothing. It's gonna cost $75 or $100 for you to get the results back. He didn't want to pay it because he's cheap. Oh, so once you got the box, you realized that it wasn't like a pregnancy test where you get the results right, right there and you had there. to send them off right. and no, send no, the no. check. No, you know what I did? I started thinking about, like, why am I paying for something that might be somebody else's? Get somebody else to pay for it. Mm. Fed up with the lies, the nonsense, you know, it's just a whole bunch when of... When you keep stories. saying she's lies, what, which lies are you talking about, Mr. Volmar? One, she's pregnant by me. Okay. okay. I've been to the doctors. I have low sperm count. So he's Satan. So I know. I would have you 20 have kids age-old. by now if that was not true. Okay, everybody, you. body is not the same. All right. I like to clone myself. So, Mr. Volmar, you say you have a low sperm count. Is that correct? Yeah. And you submit it to uh, a sperm analysis test, a new one for this court. Yes. Because we wanted to get better information. We have called upon Dr. Jamila Gator, MD, with Rise Wellness Medical Clinic. Jerome, can you please escort the expert in, please? Oh. Hello, nurse. Hello, Dr. Gator. Hello. Thank you so much for joining us today. Um, We are, of course, in a paternity case yes. concerning beautiful baby Madison. Mr. Volmar stated for the court that he has a low sperm count. He'd undergone testing. We wanted to retest him. What was your analysis of the results? So, uh, Mr. Volmar had several factors that indicate he does have a low sperm count. One was the sperm count itself. It was at 20 million. Anything below 20 million is considered low sperm or oligospermia. And that does decrease your chances of fathering a child. Thank you. However, it does not make it impossible for a man to father a child. You, you, you was on my side for a second there. It, well, th- the rest of the analysis shows that he also had good motility of a sperm, which is also important because the sperm have to swim to the egg right. in order to fertilize How it. How can they swim? Feet. I can't swim. Well, <laughs> your sperm can Mr. certainly Volmar. swim. Like, so this is you, you're becoming a clown, yeah. and this is not a circus. This is a courtroom. I understand. We're getting the information concerning your body and your potential conceiving this beautiful baby. Yeah. It's not a joke. Yeah. I'm sorry, Dr. Gator. Go ahead. So, based on those results, 40% of men with his type of picture actually need medical help to conceive a child. But on the flip side, up to 60% can go on to father a child naturally. Mm. So it's really, it's really a toss-up. It's really a 50-50 chance in terms of his sperm count and his ability to father a child. 40, so now that you've heard that, Mr. Volmar, does it change your position at all in terms of you believing the child could potentially be yours? No. Because she's saying it's possible. She's saying 40, 60. She's saying I have low sperm. She's saying it could happen, but it didn't. You just don't believe it? I, 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 I know. I mean, she's a beautiful baby, but... I, yes, I don't, she is. I don't see me in her at all. Ms. Woods, what are your hopes for today? I mean, this is, this is not an easy situation. Right. I just want to lay everything out on the table. I want him to see that Madison is his daughter. I want his mother to see. I want his whole entire family to see that this is his child. I don't have no reason to throw a child on him. He's a loser. Let's be respectful. Okay, Jan, I'm sorry. But I just want him to see that this is his child. Step up and do what he got to do as far as providing for this child. She likes having sex with losers. Listen. Just being honest. Let's just keep the decorum. Okay. Because this is a very serious time. Right. You came here for answers, and I have those answers for you. Okay. Jerome? (laughs) Thank you. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics, and they read as follows. In the case of Woods versus Volmar, when it comes to four-month-old Madison Woods, It has been determined by this court. Mr. Volmar, you are the father. Thank you! Thank you! You're the father. Thank you! Thank you! Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you. You are the father. That is your beautiful little girl. Exactly. Looking just like him. Thank you, Your Honor. How's it feel? Hmm. 
You seem... I'm at a loss of words. Really? Yes. <laughs> no, that's a good thing. She's beautiful. Can I hold her? Now, that's a beautiful thing to say. Yeah. It's gonna be my little piece of gold, now that I know. I think in light of Mr. Volmar's, I think very real, honest reaction. Mr. Montgomery, you say Ms. Parker led you to believe that you fathered her three-month-old son, Timothy Montgomery. You say you were present at the birth, named the baby, signed the birth certificate. Yes. But now, Ms. Parker says, you're not the father. Yes, Your Honor. You've petitioned the court for a DNA test to prove that, in fact, you are Timothy's father. Ms. Parker, you claim to be 100% positive that Mr. Montgomery is not your son's biological father because your fiancé, Mr. Lanoue, is. Yes, Your Honor. Now, you say today's DNA test will finally allow you to get rid of Mr. Montgomery and allow you to remove his name from your son's birth certificate. Yes, Your Honor. So, Mr. Montgomery, why do you think you're Timothy's father? Well, Your Honor, I believe I'm the father because, you know, I loved her. You know, me and her were together. We were sexually I loved active, you, too. you know. And without a shadow of a doubt, you know, I just believe, you know, f firmly that this is my son. You know, I mean, I was there, you know, through the pregnancy. You know, she but allowed you me did not she allowed me to sit there the and sign the birth certificate. And what the funny part is, because she I allowed me to name the son after my deceased son. father. Miss Parker, why would you allow him to do all of these things? Sign the birth certificate at that time? Did you or did you not believe he was Timothy's father? I thought he was the father. You did? Yeah, because he... I mean, he looked just like Mark in ultrasounds. He so had during the ultrasounds, you felt like they resembled? Yeah, he, they looked just like him. And I believed that he was the father. I had can, so I had Mark. But you ultrasound. knew you were sleeping with him yeah. during the same window of time. You can tell what a baby looks like. I had sex with no. both of them around the same time and the same day. I mean, so you I know, I, I had know. one of these. You're talking about one of these 3D ultrasounds. Is that mm -hmm. what you're talking about? Yes. I know what you're talking about. I, I had one of those, and I know what you're saying when you look at the baby and you pick out features and I you did. say, "Oh, I." So I can understand why you w could say to yourself, oh, I think he kind of resembles, but there's no way that if you were sleeping with another man during the window of conception, Ms. Parker, you could say it or you could rule out me. Mr. Lanoue. It did bother me, honestly, though, throughout your Honor, the whole pregnancy. I think blind by the fact that she actually did love and care I for did him. love him. I left everything I knew in Cleveland, you know, my family. I had a good paying job that I had. You know, I sat there and, you know, left my family, my friends, everything I ever knew to, behind so I can go yeah, down there and be with her. With you, and I so I can be the best stay. father and family man that I could possibly be for her, her kids, and my son. Yeah. <laughs> and you did that, you did that with the understanding, the belief that this child is mine. Yes, Your Honor. I thought he was the father. I believed in my heart that he was Timothy's father. So... Talk to me about how you were in a relationship with two different men. I was with Mark, and he was always on Xbox. He didn't... Right. He wouldn't even have sex with me during the whole pregnancy because he felt weird. Okay. So you're in a relationship, you're not happy. You feel like he's paying more Your attention Honor, to you. I was Me and her than first he met, it wasn't even like that. He wasn't this even in the picture right here. from what I've Seriously. said. You are he he done left. He pried on my girlfriend when I was One at a time. He's one at a time. My, a mutual friend of mine and hers introduced us. He wasn't even in the picture at this time. She still had strong feelings for him, so I stepped back and let him come back. In the meantime, we're finding out that he's talking Step to her back. friends, talking to other women. He's right, but you crying it. on a woman who's with another man, right? He's seen I didn't... It. If right. you would have stepped up, been no. there and right. actually satisfied oh, I her was. needs, I you was. couldn't you have... Was I was was down the Let's get some me. order. Calm down. You have to talk one at a time. I can't hear you. But you're not gonna clown up in here. I am going to ask questions. I need to get the answers because ultimately there is a child on the line. We're trying to figure out who Timothy's father is. And what we're trying to do is figure out how we arrived at this point. Youngin, this is Youngin. a real folks talk right Youngin. here. Youngin. Yeah. You, right. I, I think, honestly, you're more like mature than Luke. Saying, Jerome, do That's me a favor. That's why I'm the one with the job. In between I have a job. Things. Where's all this money going? It's yeah. going to him. 
No, it's Go not. Go him. Not Trust and believe. My son will have what he needs. That's that funny because I'm the one down there right now putting mm -hmm. diapers yeah, on his ass, buying formula, buying clothes. Yeah, because you and you bet on my girl, homie. So I, I asked because I had a feeling. Before you got pregnant, you ended up with Mr. Lanou, right? Your Honor, there me and so how did that happen? Mark. The first time he had left was the first time me and her had met. Throughout the whole time, he even told him me. that we were sleeping together no, after she, he had No, they back. did it. Yeah, he did. He no, used to go upstairs to shower. No, I'm over there having it. sex with her downstairs. There's the same chair he's sitting in yeah. there playing Xbox. He was up there taking a shower. Hey, Xbox, he's laying right. sitting inside playing Xbox. Well, I, I got played her Xbox, Xbox but yet I'm not registered while we're having sex. Two semesters of college. Ladies and gentlemen, if I have to keep hitting this gavel, and telling you all to be quiet, I will just dismiss the case, and nobody will have an answer today. You were sleeping with Miss Parker while Mr. Montgomery would be in the house. Upstairs in the shower. I even told him that we were sleeping together, and all he no, did, he didn't. we was face to face, and all he did was walk to the stairs, sit down, and cry. I straight up told him, name a date, name a place. If you got a problem, you can square up with me any day. I won't and back so there. When, You're a frail body when, who has to lie about Mr. being in Montgomery, the military, homie. Mr. Montgomery, do you remember this conversation when you no, found out that they were sleeping absolutely together? Absolutely not, Your Honor. Were you ever aware that they were sleeping together I before have my Timothy was born? I, before Timothy was born, no. I had my suspicions, but I never had, you know, concrete evidence that they was actually sleeping around. So clearly, Miss Parker, you're sleeping with both men. Yeah. At a certain point. Yes, Sean. And then you end up in the hospital having your baby. How is it that Mr. Montgomery ends up in the hospital with you, going through this with you? When I, you knew it was a possibility that both men could the be time, the father. At the time, I didn't know it was a possibility that uh, Lanou would have been the father of Timothy. You no, know, I'm sitting there, you know, I'm holding him for the first time, you know. I bring him to, you know, her face, you know, so she can see him because she had a C-section. You know, I'm sitting there crying. I even told myself that, you know, when he was born, I was like, I'm not going to cry. Was I nervous? No, I was excited because the simple fact of the matter, was I was told that I was going to be a father. And unlike most men, I was damn proud to hear that I was going to be a father. Father. That little, that little boy means more to me than I can even possibly you put act into like words. It doesn't bother me. Miss Parker, where's your at proof? At what point do you tell Mr. Montgomery, excuse me, there was another man in the picture? I told him in the Three weeks uh, after he was born? No, that's yep. But this is because during that time, Your Honor, that he had threatened to take Timothy. Your Honor, she right. out her knowledge in the bed and take him to Cleveland. The first no. time she was able to have sex after the baby was born, she waited until after we were done to sit there no, and tell him. No, I had sex oh, with Luke. Oh, you know, he's, he's you. you know, I don't think you're the father. I think, you know, Luke's the father. And I'm still laying in the bed with this woman naked. That's when you decide was, to tell him? Yeah, I yep. was hurting. And, you know, it was hurting me. It was killing you me inside. You couldn't tell me before? No, because I was too scared. You couldn't tell me scared. when he was born? He so, was Mr. Right. Lanou, how were you feeling as Mr. <laughs> Montgomery went through all of the motions, got to oh, be at the hurt. hospital? It, it still hurts. I, he I, named the baby after his father. I mean, he's... He's doing the most. No. I actually was going to show up to the hospital, but out of respect for her and that unborn child, refused to because I know that it would have caused a disturbance between me and him. Oh, you know, it I had oh, well, you got to into just it. endure this. You knew I didn't that you had story. been sleeping with her. A man always had. Did a you choice. know as well that there was a distinct possibility that you Absolutely, could be this child's Your Honor, father? And I even had stated to her that previously. I told him it Facebook. wasn't because I didn't want to believe it. Because she loved I, Mark. I loved she Mark to be at with the Mark. time. Okay. Right, this is when she was with me, you know, I was supposed to be sit there and be you... engaged to her, and now a month, you know, here we are about, what, two months later almost, and all of a sudden she's engaged to another man. I mean, I, I just don't see how you can move that fast from one man to another man, th feeling, you know, like you love a person that much, sit there and get engaged that quick. When, you're, when you supposedly love me the way you say you do. I she did wanted love to love you. You. Mm -hmm. you. you kept giving her reasons to stop caring. No, stop you gave her you reasons were, to stop before caring Before we about me. get into uh, an argument that leads us nowhere, I want to know who's been stepping up for Timothy. I've been there. Mr. Lanou. Mr. Montgomery, you haven't been stepping up? No. Is that by choice? She wanted me out. 
I did. And I granted her her wish. She sat there and came to me, you know, I, I told her, I was like, you, you just don't seem like you want to be with me no more. She said, I don't. She told me she would because rather be with cheating. Luke because, you know, no, she said she would rather be with Luke because he was the more plausible father of the child. Yeah. And I did regardless say that. of how bad that hurt me to sit there and leave my son behind, you know, I sat there and I granted her that wish because I'm not going to force a woman to love me. You know, I mean, I can, I can sit there and try, but I mean, if it's not being returned, then what's the purpose to sit there and keep trying to make someone love you that obviously doesn't? Your Honor, at one... And while I agree with that, when you believe you have a child or either a young, innocent life that could potentially be your child, just because you leave the woman doesn't mean you leave the child. Oh, and I, you know, <laughs> she called me, video Facebook chatted me on, on Father's Day to sit there because she goes, oh, well, on the off chance that, you know, you are Timothy's father, I thought I you did. would like to see him on uh, Father's Day. I respected that, you know, it made me feel good. You know, I got to see my son on Father's Day. I'm sitting there crying the whole no, time after weren't. I get off the phone with her no, because I can't sit there and look at my son without crying. I took his picture off the background of my phone because I can't look at his picture more than two minutes without bursting into tears. This is my son, and it was dragged away from me by a conniving man who decided to sit there and come in between a relationship. So, Ms. Parker, if Mr. Montgomery is, in fact, Timothy's biological father, what then? I will let him see him. That's... You'll let him be a part of his yeah, life? Yeah, I would. Just not, you know, taking him places, you know, far away. I want to be able to spend days, weeks, months, yeah. years. I want to teach my son right from wrong. I want to tip, pass my father's legacy that he passed on to me, on to my son, t to him. And I can't sit there and do that, you know, when she's going to sit there and try to tell me, you know, how everything's going to be. That little time is going to do nothing but make me want more. And when I can't get more, what am I going to do? All I'm going to be able to do is sit there and cry myself to sleep every night, just wishing I had more. You act like it doesn't bother me. Let me ask you this. What other facts do you have that support your belief that this child is Mr. Lanou's? It's just I cheated the whole time I was with Mark. And but I cheated. You did cheat. Okay. It's what? also I the fact that he's because tried you cheated conceiving on me. children, two other women who, until he left, could not conceive a child. Do you really want Timothy to be Mr. Lanou's child yes, because I you want to be with Mr. No, Lanou? Because he is honestly more active with all three of my kids. I want him to be Timothy's father. He's well, more Well, wanting and having a reasonable basis. To believe he's the father are two different things. Do you you're on, you're on do this. you really want to be with Mr. Lanou and you want to have a life with him? So Even that's if why he's you want not him to the be the father. I want to be with him. I've been there. I'm no, all he knows. No, I yes, was there he when has. he first started being able to see. I was. There. I've been there since Timothy right, that's was why one, he's one, one month old. Monkey face I would give him. That is my monkey man right there. I taught. I sat there and fed him no, bottles. I changed diapers no, for him. A few I walked times. him around that complex. One time. I didn't know. One time. One whatever. time. Whatever. I have people who live in the same complex of her, Your Honor, who can sit there and vouch that they watched me walk around with my one son time. more than one time. No. That they watched me be outside with her two other kids countless other times. Because she right. wasn't going out there with them. All right, I've heard enough. Jerome, I'm ready for the results. <laughs> Thank you. Will you please stand in between them for the reading of the results? Ooh. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics, and they read as follows. In the case of Montgomery versus Parker, pertaining to whether Mr. Montgomery or Mr. Lanou is the father of three-month-old Timothy Montgomery, it has been determined by this court, Mr. Montgomery, you are not the father. Mr. Lanou, you are the father. That's my baby. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
in my eyes, that's still my son. Bro. I was there for his birth. I sat there and was there for the first month and a half of his life. Regardless of what them results read, in my eyes, that'll always be my son. Ms. Parker, how do you feel right now? I'm happy. Mr. Lanier is the father of my son, Timothy, because he's more involved with Timothy. Mr. Lanu? Yes. This man, how do you feel now to know It's like for a weight certain. lifted off my shoulder. I mean, the pain of not being able to be there. I'll do whatever it takes to make sure he never has to face, face uh, you know, a struggle in life. Blood, sweat, tears, it don't please matter. Do. Baby will be taken care of. Regardless about how I feel about you, man, please do. Ms. Beauville, two years ago, you and your mother were shocked when the man you always believed is your dad told you he is not your biological father. You tried to bring the defendant to paternity court six months ago, but say he backed out of his appearance. Now that he is here today, you state the DNA results will finally prove your case. Is that correct? Yes, ma'am. Mr. Beauville, you claim for more than 20 years you held on to a secret and had no choice but to confess your belief that Ms. Beauville's father is another man. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Beauville, tell me what happened two years ago. Two years ago, I received a phone call from another brother of mine stating that my dad had doubts that if he was my father or not due to activities that happened before I was born. That was during Thanksgiving on a holiday weekend. And Can you be more specific? <clears throat> you say activities. What kind of activities? He felt like my mom was unfaithful uh, and was doing things that wasn't right within the relationship. Understood. So now, um, when I got the phone call, I um, kind of brushed it off and then my brother James was on the phone with my dad and that's when I heard him out of his own mouth say that he wanted to have a DNA test because he needed his own closure just to know if I was his daughter or not. And how old were you when this conversation happened? 25. So, so your whole life, until you were 25 years old, you think this man is your father? Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Duval, what in the world are you thinking when your daughter gets this call? I was in shock. I had no clue that he ever doubted that Carrie was his daughter. Carrie was devastated. Well, I, mean, I, I she expect was, so. My daughter broke down, and this is my only daughter. Mr. Beauville? Yes, You Your decided Honor. to make this call on Thanksgiving weekend, sir? I asked one of my sons for Carrie's number because I wanted to share something with him. When I told my son, how I felt about this situation that we're here today for. My son brought the information to Carrie. What, were, only, what, only... what got you to this point? What led you to this point where okay. you said, this is, I have to talk about this? Okay, for, um, well, when I first met Regina, I, I, I lived in Boston. Regina lived in Springfield. And when I relocated from Boston to Springfield, the first two weeks I got there, people I didn't even know was telling me, yo, this guy's talking about that's his woman. And so I goes to Regina and I ask her, Regina, what this guy talking about? I only been in this town for two weeks. This went on for like 10 years. So I'm saying? 10 years? 10 years. And at the same time, I even, I even addressed it to Regina. Why does he keep telling that? Even her brothers had to go to him and, and check him on that. Am I right What's going on now? here, Ms. Duval? First of all, there is, there is no truth to none of this. What let's, he just said. Yes, let's start there. Second of all, Mr. Beauville, if you doubted me, if you did not trust me, why did you stay? If you felt like that all those years, you should have left. So all of these years, Mr. Beauville, you believe that this other man who's married to a family member could be... Carrie's biological father? Yes, Your Honor. What convinced me was four years ago, I went to North Carolina and I finally met some of Carrie's cousins. And the person that I'm talking to, one of her cousins is his granddaughter. Your Honor, if I had a picture and showed it to you right now of her cousin, you would believe yes. that would be Carrie. If I showed you her picture, you would believe that was Carrie. Yes. And that's when I said, you know, I knew I was right. I knew I was right. You it, saw a picture of this man's granddaughter. Granddaughter. And it looks exactly like... I said, that's my... And I... And I yeah, tears came out of my eyes. 
And that's when I said, I knew I was right. I knew I was right. Uh, if you look at anybody in my family, <laughs> from my first cousins down to my third cousins, we all have the same trait. One, we're all blind. We all wear glasses. Two, we all, we all smile exactly the same. And the older I get, the more I start looking like my other cousin. The older she get, another cousin starts looking like me. It's in our genes. We all look alike. So, Mr. Boville, all of these years, you have these doubts, I had these but doubts. you never share them. The things that went on before Carrie was born, the relationship they had, because her and this person I'm talking about, they did, I mean, after everybody was telling me to keep my eyes on them, watching them, now I'm, wa I'm, I'm watching them too. They used to disappear all the time. Oh, he's my wish partner. He was my best friend before you came to pick Your Honor, first of all, we are a very close-knit family. The grandchildren are 70-plus deep of my mother's grands and great-grands. And all of them look alike. But the one thing that I did not want to happen here is that my family values would be tarnished with the babbling and the things that he is saying that has no substance to them. So let me ask you this. During the window of time in which yeah. Carrie was conceived, the question really becomes, were you intimate with anyone else during that time? No, ma'am. Where there could be another potential father for this beautiful young no, woman? No, ma'am. At the end of the day, in paternity court, that's the question we have to answer. Now, what is interesting is in the court papers, I found her birth certificate. Now, on her birth certificate, there is no father listed. I never found none of my kids, none of my names on my, none of my kids' birth certificate. You didn't let them sign the birth certificate, Mr. Duvall? Nope. Ma'am, nope. no, that's not the case. Nope. Mr. Beauville never took the time to go there and sign those birth certificates. I told him time and time again, you are a grown man. Go to that hospital, to the wherever, and sign your children's birth certificates. I cannot sign them for you. Like I said, we all made mistakes. When we, at the time, we, before Carrie was born, we both made mistakes. See what I'm saying? Yes. And I'm not holding no grudge <laughs> against her, but them 10 years of living in Springfield, people that I didn't know coming up to me, see what I'm saying? Even, even when we moved to South Carolina, the same person was so infatuated with Regina. Now, she's my wife now. Anything that I did with my kids, he got mad. You are saying that this gentleman interfered in your relationship, in your parenting, so much that you felt like Ms. Duval and this person, they were having a relationship. Yes. And this was all occurring during the window of time in which Carrie was conceived and born. This yes. was going on all of that time. Yes, Your Honor. Did he ever say anything to you specifically about actually being Carrie's father? Yes, he did. When what I did moved he to say? South Carolina, he gonna say, that's my baby. That's my baby. See what I'm saying? About Carrie. Yeah, see, I would say, you know how, yeah, about Carrie. That's my baby. That's my that baby. That is a lie wow. straight from hell. Your Honor. That's a lie you know straight what? from hell. Your so Honor. let me ask you this. And we are in court, and I need your answer to be truthful. Why would they start this type of rumor? Why? Your Especially Honor. a person in the family. What would, what would be the motive? The motive to me, if he was saying any of that, it was the motive was he was just a liar too. Were you ever intimate with this other man? No. For the hundredth time, no. I wouldn't even think about being in nothing with this man. Carrie was born, even though I had these doubts, I still loved her and I treated her like she was mine. How? How uh, can you say, how? Because how you know can you say that in court? Of, you have never, you have never been a father. Because you know you what? have you know never what? been you know a what? father. You know Stop lying You're like you the have. The that I gave you. You have never. Pictures. Don't talk over you her, Mr. Never. All right, all right. You can't. Stop. Graduation, you ain't come to mind. You know what? And I apologize for no, that because, you know, no, I could not... you've never been a father. You, know you had one birthday party.
party for me. You gave me, but you sent boxes of clothes, giving me things as not being a father. I suffer because I and never. And you know what? You did suffer. You. It's not. You know what's it's not, not fair, Carrie? I, I owe you an apology, Carrie. You know I owe you an apology. I suffer. My brothers are suffering. Yeah, yeah, you suffer. Of yeah, you did, I, and I owe you an apology. And you yes, know you what? owe me an apology, Mr. Bo you... Mr. Beauville. Yes, Your Honor. I'm gonna ask you one last time to be so. I'm so sick of hearing your mouth. All right, I won't say. I, won't I, I say mean, another just word, the Yana. sound of your voice. I won't say nothing. In word, my Yana. ear, right now, while this young word. girl is trying to express to you what your absence, what your dysfunction, what your mistakes have cost her. Yes, you right, Your Honor. Go ahead, Miss Boba. You say you and your brothers have suffered. We all have suffered. I don't let people hurt me because of you and not having the love of a father. And if you have a father, you will never understand what not having a father does to you, especially being a black woman. And I love God with all that, my that, heart, that was, but that it was, was your mother them. and your grandmother. It was father. not them. You they were not wrong. let me come see Mr. you. Mr. Beauville, don't make grown. me come off this bench. You are grown. And my mother has never, even when we tried to down talk you, she used to say, no, that's still your father. My grandmother, my grandmother never, she brought us to Massachusetts and sent us to your mother to visit you. My mother did that. My mother. How? My grandmother dropped, bought us on a bus from South Carolina no, to didn't. Massachusetts. No, my mother that did. That picture that I sent here with me and his other daughter and my other two brothers sitting on the couch was when we went to Boston. That was the first time I'd been back to Boston since I was born that I can remember. And when you went back, did he make an attempt to get to know you, to see you? We was, he was in jail, so that was the only thing I got to see you him. I you're... went a couple of years ago. My aunt that lives in Massachusetts brought me there for Christmas. And I went and stayed with my sister. And I went and visited him and I spent the day with him. And that was it. But the entire time we, we together, all he can talk about is the past of him and my mother. That has absolutely nothing to do, do with me. I'm 25, I'm not a child. I know what's going on. I'm very intelligent, I have a brain. I don't, I don't give two flying, Bananas about what they done before me. He talking about 10 years, but I don't care. It has nothing to do with me. Yes. I'm the child here. And you have to be able and you to get over that because it's not, I shouldn't be doing this right now. I shouldn't be having to do this with you. You are correct. She wanted you to are correct. And you are a smart young woman. And I think you can see now even for me, why I am getting so agitated because everybody's talking in circles, everybody got stories, and I still don't have a great description as to what the circumstances were surrounding your conception. That's really all I'm here to get to. There is because that really is the end-all, be-all of this particular saga. Mm -hmm. this, this particular moment in time is about that, to get the answer you need. Now, I want to hear your story. And part of that is your witness. And you brought someone with you. I would like you to stand, sir, please. And state your name for the court. James Beauville III. Please step to the podium, Mr. Beauville. I'd like to hear from you. And so Mr. Beauville is your father. Yes, my father. You're her brother. Yes, ma'am. Okay, and you came to court to testify today as to... Me and my dad have a close relationship, so, like, he had told me this, like, four years ago, a few years ago when he come down south, but, you know, I had kind of, like, I had brushed it off, you know, because it was really, like, I didn't really find it, like, necessary to interrupt my sister with it, so I didn't tell her. So he mentioned it. it to you, but you decided not to say anything to your sister at the time. Yeah, I, I didn't feel like the time was right and the place was right to... What see. did he say to you in particular? I mean, when he seen that family member, he was like, don't she look just like Carrie? This could be such and such baby. So only thing I can go by is what he believed and how he feel. I can't go off or like, the only thing I could do is just step in the gateway and be there for it, which is my sister. Did he say he was not Carrie's father or did he say he wasn't sure? He said he wasn't sure. Okay, thank you for your testimony. Jerome, I'm ready for the results. 
These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics, and they read as follows. In the case of Duval, Beauville versus Beauville, when it comes to 25-year-old Carrie Beauville, it has been determined by this court, Mr. Beauville, you are the father. I knew he was my father, but now that he knows and he has no more reason to doubt me as his daughter, I really just want to tell him that I'm so sorry that you missed out. And I'm so sorry that you went through all that you had to go through, Dad, because I, I know it was a bad time in both of y'all's life, and I just want to say that I forgive you. <laughs> I forgive you for everything. 